Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. As you know, my name is Rich. Cake will be joining us later. But today we got a subject we want to talk about that's very serious and dear and dear to our heart. It's the importance of carrying a first aid kit on your bike and creating a basic first aid kit. Soon as we get back. So stay tuned. <music> and jeans riders i'm rich and as you can see kk has joined me hey so what we're going to talk about today is basically something very very serious and important that basic first aid kit that every single rider on the planet should have on their bike or on their person if you cannot put it on a bike at least have it in a backpack but first we're going to discover basics now you can see we have a lot of stuff on the table and we can show you the basic and how you can put your kit together and where you can purchase a kit from. So right now we're just going to talk about the basics that you should have, you need to put on your bike. Start off the basics. Want to start it off? Okay. Band-Aids. Lots of Band-Aids, different sizes of Band-Aids that we can get that flying all over the place because we have so many of them. Anyway. Tape, ointment, a CPR disposable mask, insect relief wipes, pain medication, alcohol peroxide witch hazel, a thermometer. No Go dose beer aspirin. Basics. Gloves. We talk about the glove for a second. And tweezers. When you have gloves, this you should always have on your bike. Glove. But look for the non-latex glove because you know latex causes a lot of rash with people and it's just not good for basic stuff on your bike. Latex gloves. You might save their life, but you don't want to give them a rash. Okay. Anyway. And that's just the basics that you should have on your bike in the emergency kit. First aid kit, which is small. That's got a lot of stuff that you that you haven't on there what we have here is what we have for a first aid kit when we go in group big group writings we carry more first aid emergency trauma kit on our bikes so you, you want, want to talk about some of the stuff that's on the table yeah i can talk from this side and kind of go this way okay so the things that you can carry actually on your bike are the basics that she's already covered. But we're going to talk about just things in general that comes in a first aid kit. And you can purchase a first aid kit from anywhere. You, can, you don't even have to leave your house. You purchase online. American Ray Claw Cross have a thing that you can build your own first aid kit. And I would suggest get one for your house, for your family. Then break it down to the basics yeah. to put on your bike. So let me cover some things that we have here on the table. Obviously, we have cotton swabs. We have witch hazel that can be broken down to put in a basic kit. Hydro, hydrogen peroxide and, believe it or not, water. Emergency drinking water. Here we have alcohol, rubbing alcohol, definitely important. All these things for cleansing. And if you don't want to buy these big things and break it down to smaller bottles, each, uh, each and every one of them actually has wipes. This right here is just an alcohol prep wipe. So make sure you get these things, these simple things to put on your basic emergency kit. Already covered the gloves. Here we have cold compress. One is a bandage. Yes, one is actually a cold compress bandage. You know, she covered bandage, how important that is to have on. Obviously, Insect, this is Benadryl brand insect relief. Or you get, especially those of you who like to go camping, like we love camping. You know, sometimes the bugs will get on you, they, you can't do nothing about it. Number one thing, pain reliever. Because you know you guys who ride those long trips, even though you ride a comfortable bike at the end of the day, you definitely want pain relievers. You also can get those in 
the little packet. They're about this size, so maybe two come in a packet. That'll break it down, make it smaller for you to carry on your bike. And low dose aspirin. If you go on American Red Cross and build your own kit, there's some of these things that they will suggest that you have in the kit. Also, it won't hurt because these can actually be put down lower. Really, really small. Hand warmers for those who ride in the winter or perhaps camping in the cold. Emergency blanket. You can see how small these things actually go down. And then at the end of this, this is my emergency kit. I will open it and show you what I have. And I know I have to replenish some of the stuff that I've used. And I'll show you what I carry as for my emergency kit. Emergency poncho. Just in case you didn't have rain gear, you get actually stuck out somewhere. This is something if you decide to go hiking somewhere and it looks like it's going to rain and you don't want to carry your bulky rain gear with you, take this, throw it in your back pocket, and you set. Um, utensils, cutting utensils. A knife, just in case you need to cut the clothes on somebody, but be very, very careful when you carry knives. The point. Here's why. These things is what you see the paramedics on the ambulance crew carry and as you can see they are very blunt this is why they have this like this so when they're cutting off your blunt clothing with sharp cutting off your clothing they won't cut you demonstration right here a pair of regular denim jeans <laughs> a pair of regular denim jeans that these things will actually cut through hold that and as you can see when they're on your body, they're pretty taut, so we got to put them taut to get this to cut through. As you can see, and paramedics normally go under there and cut these jeans off or your, your riding gear or your clothing off. So they're extremely sharp and very, very safe. So, so I don't have to reach all the way across. You take care of this side right here. Okay. Tweezers are very important for splinters. Or these things, when they leave their stinger in you, you just pull them out. In case you stump your toe or your finger, you can cut toenail off with it. These are clippers. Thermometer. In case you say, I feel hot, I feel sick, or something, somebody can take your temperature. If you have a feet temperature, you stick it under your tongue. That button it comes on and it'll beep when you're when it's finished taking your temperature. If you have a temperature, you just take it some ibuprofen to bring the fever down. <coughs> we have more gauze that we use that we put on our bike for, for cuts. We have masks, breathing masks, to protect yourself and the person that you you're working on. Or if you come in and the air is not that clean, fires out here, then you put you have your mask. More important is the CPR shield. You put using doing CPR on somebody. You want to protect yourself as well as the person that you're doing CPR on. This is just to cover the mouth with, and you can give them breaths if you need it. Or need it. We have ointment here, burn relief triple antibiotic, hydrocortisone. We have those Neosporum will take care of a whole lot of stuff over there. Now we have more gauze here. We have high patch that we use if we need to. We can use this water, flush the eye out. And if it's still not working, we just cover the eye to keep, it, keep anything from getting in it. The triangle bandage which is used as a sling in case you hurt your arm or somebody's hurt their arm. They put the sling on. And you'll learn how to use all these things when you take your first aid CPR class if you have not already. Another bandage right here, the compression bandage. <clears throat> and when you just put it on and hold it over it to stop the bleeding. And also another, the gauze. This one has scissors in it as well to cut cut the dogs down and for the last resort is a tourniquet we all know you learn how to use this also in your first aid cpr class 
So I'm not going to say how, but this is used to stop the severe bleeding, to help stop severe bleeding of any limb. Be careful when you put the tourniquets on because that's normally a last resort. If you put that tourniquet on, most likely the person's going to lose that limb. But you yeah. saved their lives. Yes. Yeah. What is yeah. the big one? Oh, thing the big one. Like I said, we have a trauma kit. So we carry this sterilized bandage on there and it goes on. Hopefully we won't ever have to use this on anybody. This is for extremely big, on a big arm, and we can use the term for bandage. Okay, that just about cover everything we have on the table. So what I'm going to do now is basically move the stuff off. As a matter of fact, let me back up and talk about this. When she mentioned the mask, she was talking about in case you ride in a, in a climate that has bad air. When we was coming back from one of our long trips, we came back down from Washington and Oregon and into California during the time that they had the fire. And we actually had one of these. We actually pulled it over, took our helmet off, and put it on us. And it actually helped us breathe better until we get out the area where there was a lot of smoke. Yeah. So that actually came in handy at one time. So I know we for sure have to replenish our first aid kit with our masks. But anyway, what we're going to do is clear the table, and I will show you what I actually have in my first aid kit. Like I said before, pick you up a, a basic family side first aid kit and break it down into smaller things for your thing. You have something else to say? No. Okay, so let's clear the table and I'll put out my thing because I need to know what we need to replenish in my, my kit. First aid kit that we had, which some of the stuff goes back in it. It also comes, it comes with 107 pieces in here. It also comes with instructions on how to use everything in here. Instructions are in here, but it contains, it tells you everything in here and it tells you how to use your first aid kit on what, what items to use on what injury. What'd you get that from? I got this from Walmart, my favorite store. And Walmart does not sponsor us. I just spend my money there. Maybe we need to start investing. Here's my first aid kit. This is what I carry on my bike in my trunk. And the reason I carry it in the trunk and not in my saddlebags, just in case my bike go down on either or whatever side it is, and it'd be possible somebody lift that bike up real fast to get it out of the saddlebag. So it's easier for if the bike go down to pop the trunk and I got my first aid kit. This is actually a first aid kit that you can see that I can clap on me if needs to, if I'm treating someone else, or I can just tell somebody to go in my trunk, you see a black bag, a first aid kit. Now I'll show you what I have in my bag, and then I'll need to know what I need to replace. He also puts it on when we're hiking. Right. He'll snap it on, that way we have the first aid kit if needed. So here I have as you can see, that like we talked about earlier, peroxide and small bottles that I just purchased from this local store, and the alcohol. I don't have the witch hazel in it. I remember using that when we was camping before. Yeah. On this side, you get there. That's important because if you don't have band aids, you can always use a pad. Yes, it is a sanitary a napkin pad. that we use, and of course you all know what it's used for. So it absorbs a lot. Here I have basically gauze, and all this goes in that bag. I'm missing something because this pouch is empty. A marker, a pen basically. This is actually her contact me. I wear contact. So in case of the emergency, when I will pop out, I have one. As stated here. before, hand warmers, 10 hours of heat. Gloves for your protection.
Preparation H. Not only just used for you know what, but soothing. And of course, plenty of bandages. You never know. These are things that we're going to use more than anything else for little creeps and cuts. So we have a lot of bandages in our first aid kit. And this is basically the basic first aid kit we carry. Cotton swabs and cotton. Thank you. Our emergency blanket. It's over here, the emergency blanket we talked about. Ointments. What else we have in this thing? Oh, cold compress, along with the heated compress. More bandages. And finally, which I know how to replace a lot of things, ace bandages. So this is what we carry on our bike in our basic emergency kit. Now that we look looking at mine and see I'm missing a couple things, I'm just gonna replenish it after the video, obviously. Where's yours? No. My first aid kit is right here. This is what I carry on my bike because this is what I have room for. I have nothing in it because I've taken some of it out to put around right. here on the table. Demonstration. But I also carry some pins on oh, here just pins. in case. Safety pin. Yes. So but this is the size of, of my my kit that stays on on the bike. So I don't have safety pins in my kit. So we just I just learned something. Maybe I need to put some safety pins in my kit. Don't sleep on the safety pins. What else? And basically that's just about it. That's just about it. I carry just as much as he carried in his first aid kit, but on a smaller scale. So this is what we we talking about. It's, it's a very, very serious subject. Go out and learn basic first aid and CPR that can help save a family member in your life, in your household, as well as your fellow riders. Learn these things, teach somebody, even if you have taken it up in the past and you're not certified again, at least you may remember some of these things in emergency. So learn for basic first aid and CPR. When you're out on the road, you can actually use that. That's all I have for now. You have anything? We just about covered everything and I, don't, I can't think of anything else right now. So. We're going to end it with that, but make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell. And write a comment below. Don't forget to give us a, give us a thumbs up. We're going to have more videos like this coming to you, so make sure you comment and talk about some of the things in your emergency kit that we may have missed. And until then, we'll see you on the road. For Booster Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Kate. Until we roll again. Peace. peace.